Okay, guys, um, I'm here to talk about a very important issue that I have to talk about. The, um, the issue that I'm going to talk about is um, ITT Tech. Um, do not go to that school. Do not go. Stay away from that school. Why should you stay away from that school? Because that school is bad news. Now, if you go on YouTube and you type in ITT Tech, you can see a lot of reviews for that school on YouTube. And a lot of the money is about 99% of them all say stay away from that school. And I'm going to say the same thing. Stay away from that school. That school is not good, man. It's not. It's a pile of shit. It's not good at all. It's other, other crap. Why is it other, other crap? Well, you don't learn a damn thing. You learn old technologies that are like 2003, 2002, 2001, 2000, and 1998, 1997, all the way back to about 1990, or as far back as 1982. And when I went there, I did not know that I would learn any of that um, old technologies. When I was going there, I was saying to myself, why are we learning this? This is just other, other, other crap. And other people that, that go into that school said the same fucking thing that I say, you know, that that school it's garbage. It's 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 crap. And you know, I was shaking my head. I was like, "Are you kidding me? We have to learn this? Come on!" Like, here's one example. Um, we were learning about the um about network topologies, about the bus and star and stuff like that. That's that's relevant. That's that's um that's current, but. We have to learn about the token win. Like, like really, that's that's dead in the water. No one uses that anymore. Token win is is dead and gone. It's 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 dead. And we have to learn about that. And I was like, Are you kidding me? Why? You know? And it's just it, it's crap. It's just other other shit. You know? It's just garbage. You know? The school for me was all bad. It was it was horrible. It was it was bad. The whole school was was bad. I did not want to go there anymore. I did not want to be in classes. I just went to classes and I left. I didn't stay. I just left. Like I went there just to sign in, get the homework, and then I would leave. I wouldn't even stay in the classes. And I would I would like bullshit my my work like my, when it came to like exams and stuff I wouldn't even study I didn't even have to study because it was so easy I would just do the multiple choice questions hand in my answers and then just go home I wouldn't even study for any of the tests there because it was just a waste of time it was just it was, it was bullshit it was BS you know it was it was crap. And I felt when I when I when I went to that school, I felt um, I felt like this is going to be a good place for me to learn about computers and technology and all this networking stuff that that you should know. But it didn't turn out that way. It turned out to be a horrible, horrible experience and. It's one that I have to live with for the rest of my life. That I can't turn back time and turn back 
turn back the clock and not go to that school anymore. Um, well, go somewhere else and not have to go to that school, you know. But, I mean, it it really sucks that I think the chat was a bad experience for me. I did not expect I think the chat to be like that, but it was. I got two degrees from my TD chat. I got um, associate's degree in CNS computer network systems, and I got a bachelor's degree in information system security (ISS). Um, so I got two degrees from that school. I owe about a hundred thousand dollars. I'm not paying it at all. So sadly, me can go fuck yourself because I'm not paying them at all. I'm not paying them a dime. And I will never pay them a dime. And if they sue me, which they will someday, I'm not paying them a goddamn dime. And I will fight them in court because I ain't paying them shit. Because I'm not going to pay someone something that I never learned a damn thing from that school. The reason why I know about networking and, and information systems and security and all that um, networking stuff is because of two things, Google and YouTube. If it wasn't for YouTube, um, I wouldn't be able to learn some of the stuff, um, some of like the core networking stuff. If it wasn't for YouTube, but if it wasn't for Google, I wouldn't be able to research and look stuff up. So it's because of Google and YouTube that I learned everything that I that I know about networking and um, security systems, while well, mainly just networking in in um, in that area, you know. And so um, I wish, man, I never went to that school, man. I I really wish I never did. I, I I wish I never did. It was a, it was a mistake. But you know, back in 2006, I was 21 years old. I was young. I was naive, so I didn't know what I was doing, and I signed up, not knowing what to what to expect. And when I graduated, I thought I was gonna find a job and. Everything was gonna be good, and I would be able to pay back the loan and stuff, and pay back. But it didn't work out that way. I could not find a job because of the fact that um, everything, everything in this world is about experience. You need experience in this world to do anything. Before a job employer hires you. They want to see your resume and they want to see how much experience you have. If you have no experience, none, zil, zip, zilch, the employee will tell you to go, bye bye, I can't hire you, you have none. So it left me in a predicament. I did go on, on interviews, I went on like 10 interviews and the employee said to me, he said, you have no experience, we can't hire you. We have no experience, we can't hire you. You have no experience, we can't hire you. You have no experience, we can't hire you. I've got um, three employers that said to me that um, we can't hire you because you have no experience and plus we don't hold IT tech degrees as a real degree, so we can't, we can't hire you. You know, and um, in order for me to fix that situation, I would have to intern, and I'm not going to work somewhere for free for six months to gain experience for a person to hire me. I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. I, I can't. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. It's not going to happen. So I decided to just um, cut my losses. And um, I decided to be my own boss and went for myself. Um, so what I did was over the years, over like from 2008 to about 
2014, I went on YouTube and I researched, well, I watched videos and researched on my own how to do graphic good design and web design freelance from home. So that's what I do on the side for clients. And then another thing that I do, um, that I do for myself is I own my own PC repair um, company. Um, I made myself called SOCOM Repairs. It stands for Special Operations Computers and Management. It's my own company. I own myself, and I'm, I'm and I am my own boss, and I do that for work. And I the third thing I do, well, I just say four things I do. But I'm gonna say the fourth thing last. The third thing I do is I do. Um, YouTube. I'm a YouTube partner and I make videos for all my 112 subscribers to enjoy. Yeah. You know, love all you guys. Love all you guys. You know, you guys watch my videos and like my videos. You guys are awesome, man. Love all you guys. And that's um, another thing I do. I'm a YouTube partner. I, I'm partnering with, with First Screen. First Screen is awesome, man. I love First Screen. First Screen, I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. And I'm partnering with First Screen. So I do that. Um, I'm a YouTube partner. And I have 74 videos, I think. Maybe 75, but I think I have 74 videos so far. And um, if you're new to my channel, please um, comment, wait, and subscribe because I do all kinds of videos on Boston's reviews, blogs, gaming. Um, what well, the gaming is kind of lacking, but I'm going to get into some more gaming videos shortly. Um, and I do first taste videos. Um, that's kind of lacking too, but I'm going to try to get back into that. Um, because I know some of my subscribers like that too, and my vlogs, I'm going to, that's kind of lacking too, but I'm going to get back into that, um, uh, for you guys. So I do YouTube too. Now, I do those three things, I'm my own, I'm, I'm my own boss, I work for myself. So I made a bad situation, and I turned it into a positive one by myself, by my inspiration, because... I watch all kinds of um, videos on YouTube. Um, well, as a matter of speaking, um, David DeFranco, I watched his videos and he was a big inspiration to me. That's why I decided to work for myself because he was a big inspiration. He started me in my path of me being my own boss and that I see he was his own boss. He is his own boss and he was myself. It's so he inspired me to work for myself and become my own boss. You can do it. It is possible. You just have to do research and do it um do it correctly, you know, and not give up. You can't you can't give up. You cannot give up. You cannot. I don't give up, man. I gave up on the job because the job market fucking sucks as all hell. And so I gave the hell up. Um, I gave up in that aspect because the job market sucks. And I gave up, but I did not give up on achieving my goals. Now, um, the fourth goal that I'm, well, the fourth job that I'm going to mention is I work for Apple from home. Um, the reason why I have this, this job is because a friend of mine at ITD Tech put me up with that job from Apple. I work five days a week, Monday to Friday, from 9 in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. And he's the reason why I have that job. He hooked me up. So, John, thank you, buddy, man. Thank you, man. You're a lifesaver, man. Thank you for getting me that job, man. Thank you. And um, he hooked me up um, about two months ago with that job because, you know, I'm a big Apple fan. You know, I, I love Apple to death. I'm a big Apple fan. I have eight maps and growing. I'm a big Apple fan. So, you know, I don't really use PCs, uh, Windows anymore as much as I used to. 
used it in the past because I used to be a big Windows person. Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows SP, Windows 95, 98, 2000, ME, but ME sucked. I only use that for like two days. That's, that's, that's sucked ass. Vista, Vista, nah. Uh, that's that's crap too. Windows 8, nah, that's that's garbage too. Except for like what I said before, is if you have a Windows 8 tablet, Windows 8 is good for a tablet, but for a desktop with a mouse and keyboard, nah, nah, I can't support that shit, man. I I can't, and I'm not going to. Um, so um, mainly I'm a Mac user. Mainly I'm I'm a Mac user. I have eight Macs. So I'm 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 mainly a Mac user, man. Well, I have to be because I work for Apple from I work well I should say I work for Apple from home. So I'm I'm a Mac user and um employee I should say work from home. So I'm a Mac guy, you know. Um, I'm not an iGenius because an iGenius they they are the ones that work in the Apple Store, so I'm not an iGenius. Well, I could say I'm an iGenius, but I work from home. But the ones that work at the Apple Store, they are called iGeniuses. So, I mean, yeah, I I, I pretty much know app with like the back of my hand. So, I mean, I know everything about Apple. So. I pretty much can call myself that and Windows. I know everything about Windows too, like the back of my hand. So, and networking, I know everything about networking, like the back of my hand. So, um, I got all those areas down pat, down down really really good. Um, so I'm all set when it comes to those areas. I'm kind of like master when it comes to those areas those three areas I'm a kind of master when it comes to that and um and um what's that gonna say and um yeah I just want to say um real quick but some of the courses I took at that school I have to take like four math courses four English classes um and history, world history class, government class, all that, all that typical BS, you know, and it really, it really sucked because, because that, um, okay, the classes at that school, they go for 11 weeks, and you go to the school for 11 weeks, and then you, um, have a two week break off and then you go for another 11 weeks so you have to learn a bunch of old technologies and a bunch of new technologies mess them together with that 11 weeks and it a lot a lot of people that I talked to at ITD chat did not like that school they did not like how it was run how it was set up nothing like that it was just they said it was just other crap a lot of people said that they wish they never went there, you know, including me and myself and some of my other friends, some of my closest friends say they wish they never went there either, um, including me, I wish I never went there too. Um, the school is about $40,000, um, you will owe about $80,000 when you get out, around, around, well, Around fifty to eighty thousand dollars you owe when you get out. I owe I owe a hundred well, I owe a hundred thousand dollars. The reason why I do is because I never paid Stanley May. They want in like eight hundred dollars a month and I could not do that. I can now but I'm not gonna do it and I'm not and and I'm not gonna do it. So they're gonna sue me someday and when they do Bring it on, that I'm gonna fight you guys in court, you motherfuckers. You know, so bring it on, you guys ain't getting a dime from me. You can go, fuck yourself, you motherfucker, Sally Mae, and ITT Tech. Fuck you, you son of a bitches. You know, so, um, I am not paying them a damn dime. Um, so, 
um, that's not going to happen. Um, so, um, yeah, ITD chat was um, pretty bad, and I feel I didn't learn a damn thing from that school. From all the years I went to that school, I felt like I didn't learn a damn thing, and that school should be shut down. And I hope it does get shut down because it's just it's just a money pit. They all want you to go there for the money. It's just it's just a money pit, you know. And so many people fall into it, including me. You know, I fall in, I fell into the trap too. And I tried to go to other schools. I I tried to went to another school. I could not go to another school because I could not get um, financial aid to go to another school. So I had to give up and just cut my losses and just decide to work for myself. And that's how they, that that's what they said. They said, you won't get any more financial aid. You, you owe way too much on money. So I can't go. So I just decided to work for myself, and I turned the positive thing, well, I should say, I turned the bad thing into a positive thing. Some of that guys, it's like 5 in the morning right now, and I'm at 20, and it says, why it's so dark, you know. Uh, um, so um, I just wanted to say that I think the chat was, was crap, please, please, if if you are the person right now that is going to that school, I suggest you drop out, cut your losses, and run. Just just run for the hills. Just run. Don't walk. Run. You're in the school already. If you signed up, if you're watching this video today and you signed up for that school yesterday, go into that school tomorrow and drop out and then run out that school just just run just just run don't want just run if you if you if you are only in that school and you and you have like um if you're in your your second quarter drop out if you're in your fifth quarter drop out if you're in your eighth quarter well stay because you're going to graduate anyways but um don't don't go into that school. Well, you're not graduating. You you're going to graduate and get a worthless degree anyway. So, I mean, um, don't go into that school. Please, just stay away, man. Please, just don't go, man. Just stay away. Please, man. Just 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 go away. Please, just just trust me. Trust. Trust me, trust the Power 99 FM. When I say that school is crap, that school is crap. Do not go. Do not go. Please just trust me on this. Don't go. Because it did not help me. And it's not going to help you. Just go, just go somewhere else. Just, go, just do not go into that school. Please, just, just do not go. Just, just trust me. Just, just please don't go. Please, just, just please, just don't go. Um, so that's really all I have to say about that. Um, suck yeah, screw. Um, so, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say, guys. So this is the Pond 99 FM saying, um, peace and stay classy, yo. And don't forget to comment, wait, and subscribe if you're new for more videos from me. Peace, guys. Peace.